So good morning, everyone, um, and welcome to this session on global health and pandemics. This is the fourth time we have a session on pandemics. Uh, the first one was a virtual session in 2020, you may remember. Uh, before anything, I'd like to thank Thierry de Montbrial. Thank you, Madame Kwan, for inviting us. Uh, and uh, Madam Minister, thank, warmly thank uh, the government of the UAE for the wonderful welcome and hosting this conference. Um, we have a, an excellent panel of speakers today with broad expertise in global health and geopolitics. Uh, but before we start, I'd like to show one slide for everyone to remember about key figures on COVID-19 as the political attention and the public opinion attention is rapidly waning. What people often call the cycle of panic and neglect, we are actually in a phase of neglect. Um, and that's why I entitled this slide, COVID-19, are we being dismissive? So let's not forget that the COVID-19 pandemic has been the worst combined health and socioeconomic crisis in living memory. It has infected at least 250 million people across the globe, and the global death toll is estimated to be 27, between 18 and 33 million people. At the highest point of the pandemic, 90% of school children across the world were unable to attend school. At least 150 million people have been pushed to extreme <coughs> poverty. And the economic cost has been huge, estimated by the IMF at being $14 trillion to be lost in the period 2024 the toughest shock to the global economy since World War II. And the last point on the slide is that the pandemic is not over. And it continues to have a profound impact on the lives and livelihoods for many people, millions of people with what we call long COVID, but also as the economic recovery, whereas it somehow is taking place in the high-income countries, it still is very slow in recovery in the poorest countries. So we'll discuss today about where we are with the pandemic and which are the perspectives uh, of preparing ourselves to a next pandemic. And the question that is posed today is, are we ready for a next pandemic? Now...